on moving to a new house. Finally, when in the spring of 1919, this war job was over too and I was free again, I left the haunted house in Bern, in which I had lived for almost seven years. The parting from Bern, by the way, was not difficult. It had become clear that from now on there was morally only one possibility of existence for me. To put my literary work ahead of everything, to live only for it and no longer to take seriously money troubles or any other consideration. If I did not succeed in this, I was lost. I travelled to Lugano, spent a few weeks in Sorengo, sought for, then found in Montagnola, the Casa Camuzzi, and moved there in May 1919. I had only my desk and my books sent home from Bern. For the rest I rented furniture. In this last of my houses up to now, I lived for 12 years. During the fir first four all the time, from then on only in the warmer seasons. This pretty and rather odd house which I am now living has meant a great deal to me. It was in many respects the most original and beautiful of any I have ever owned or inhabited. To be sure, I owned none of it whatever, nor did I have the whole house, but rented only a small apartment of four rooms. I was no longer lord of the manor father of a family with house and children and servants, who calls to his dog and cultivates his garden. I was now a little penniless literary man, a threadbare and rather dubious stranger who lived on milk and rice and macaroni, who wore his old suits till they were threadbare, and in the autumn brought home his supper of chestnuts from the forest. But the experiment, which was the point of it all, succeeded. And despite everything that was difficult in those years, they were beautiful and fruitful. It was like waking from a nightmare that had lasted for years. I inhaled freedom, the air, the sun. I had solitude and my work. In the very first summer, I wrote in quick succession Klein and Wagner and Klingsus last summer. And in doing so sufficiently, relaxed my inner tension so that in the following winter I was able to begin Siddhartha. And so, I had not been destroyed. I had pulled myself together again. I was still capable of work, of concentration. The war years had not, as I had half feared, destroyed me intellectually. And so I have lived for the last 12 years in the Casa Camuzzi. Garden and house appear in Klingsus last summer and in other of my compositions. Dozens of times I have painted this house and drawn it and probed its complex whimsical forms, especially in the last two summers, by way of farewell. I have made drawings from the balcony, from the windows and from the terrace of all the views and many of the amazingly beautiful corners and walls of the garden. My palazzo, the imitation of a baroque hunting lodge, sprang from the whim of a Ticino architect some 75 years ago. It housed a whole series of other tenants, but none stayed as long as I have, and I believe none loved it more. Once more, I am undertaking to settle myself anew. And once more, it is to be for life.